I know there's a lot of people who, uh, a lot of performers that won't come to Calgary uh, because of the Saddle Dome. The Saddle Dome was built 40 years ago, just in time to host the 1988 Winter Olympic skating events. Since then, the iconic building has gone through a lot of upgrades, but many people want to see the Saddle Dome replaced with a new state-of-the-art facility that would attract big-name acts. Perhaps uh, future all-star games and just future more, a more appealing thing for music performances. Calgary has already seen acts like Lady Gaga, Bruno Mars, Ed Sheeran and Guns N' Roses all choose to go to Edmonton, which has the new Rogers Place Arena. One of the bigger performances to come through Alberta in the summer was the Motley Crue Def Leppard concert, which was only performed in Edmonton, not to mention that the Junos are also being hosted there. The city and the province are floating the idea of a new event center again, and it was on the agenda at City Hall today. But the meetings took place behind closed doors, and when Mayor Jody Gondek emerged from the meeting, she told reporters there would be no disclosure of the details, at least for now. Uh, I think so, yes, in my opinion. Um, I know there's a lot going on with city council meetings and stuff like that. Um, after the first deal sunk, um, there wasn't a lot of information out at that point. Calgary has also seen a new professional hockey team make its way to the city, and that's the Calgary Wranglers of the AHL. The Hitmen have also started to play some of their home games at the Seven Chiefs Sports Complex. With four professional teams playing on the Saddle Dome, the wear and tear is becoming more and more apparent. For now, the Flames, Wranglers and Hitmen will continue to call the Saddle Dome home. As for the rest of Calgary, they are left here in the dark, wondering when a brand new event center will actually come to Calgary. For State Newsfile, I'm Will Manzik.